Hola, Cris. Hello, Sandy. Oh, hello, Master Ilan Garibi. Hola a todos. Hello, Ingesti. Hello, David. Everybody, welcome. Todos bienvenidos. Hola, Regina. Hola, hola, hola. Bueno, les voy dando la bienvenida poco a poco porque acá tenemos al maestro Ilan Garibi y vamos a hablar con él. Así que vamos a comenzar ya. Mientras, preparen sus tramas, ¿ok? Así que vamos a ver. Buenas tardes para todos los que se conectan. Y veamos. Vamos a comenzar rápido porque tengo tantas preguntas que hacerle al maestro Ilan Garibi. Hello, José. <laughs> Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I, I cannot believe I am talking to you. Why not? Huh? <laughs> Because you don't, you don't know the meaning of Ilan Garibi in the origami world. Uh, I'm just another guy. Well, It's not really... A big guy. <laughs> no, I'm not a big. Thank you. Thank you so much for accepting my invitation. Um, lots of people are over here. Jose Melsen is over here. So thank you so much. For accepting and uh, I have so many questions to ask you but I am going to be brief and everything is related with origami and um, so we can know a little bit more about you because I, I, I was studying you all the way oh, okay. I was studying your work your books everything and oh my god you gave me uh, you gave me troubles it's so much there's so much to study Oh, too much? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Miren, acá tengo al maestro Garibi y le digo yo que estuve estudiando un poquito de su trabajo durante la semana. Y saben, hay demasiado que estudiar, así que vamos a avanzar rápido. Ok. Eh, Ilan, first, I want to tell you congratulations for your books. I was analyzing your books and there is a lot of effort, dedication, and work in your books. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, your books are perfectly organized from the first page to the last one. They are amazing. Yes. So, okay. Miren, le estoy diciendo a él que sus, eh, he estado estudiando sus libros y los libros de él son perfectos. Son bien organizados desde el principio hasta el final. So, I have here your two babies. Let me show you. Baby one. Baby two. <laughs> baby three. Yes. And there is going to be a baby four, right? Yes. Actually, I have more babies, but they are more into puzzles. Mm -hmm. So, I have more books about puzzles. One of them is in between origami and puzzle, which is uh, paper puzzles. So all the puzzles are made from paper. So I don't know how to count my babies, but there is a new baby coming soon. I'm working on a second installation book. I am so excited about your second baby. You know why? Because you say that they are the name, I think it's going to be more complex tessellations, right? You're going to have more complex tessellations there. Uh, Yes, yes, they are a bit more complex. They are not complex because still, uh, even the one I'm going to teach today, it may look very complex. But once you break it down to the simple steps and to the single molecule, I think they become quite clear. And uh, I don't do very complex models. So I don't enjoy because it's too much work. So I, I think it will be a bit more advanced, but it, it won't be too difficult. That's what I like about your books. Your, as you say, uh, they are not so complex like others. And uh, you explain everything is so well detailed. I love the design of the molecule, the four molecules together. And after there is a space for people to continue creating and creating and creating. And that's what I love. You know, sometimes I see some um, diagrams of the tessellations. 
And I say, oh no, that's too complicated. And when I see yours, it's the opposite. So they are <laughs> so appealing since the very beginning. Uh, when I was when I was in the army, I was uh, I, I was actually a, an instructor. I was a teacher, mm -hmm. and I learned how to teach and how to explain and to try and be as simple as possible. And after the army, I I was also teaching uh, kids uh, for five years, and now I teach students for design for uh, eight years now. So I teach a lot, and I think once you teach and you understand the needs of your folder students whatever then you can do much better work when you try to teach them so i think that's the, the reason my books are, are highly accessible i would say yeah exactly i knew that you have some teaching experience because that's shown in your books <laughs> um give me one minute one second for translating some things because there are many people here who don't speak english miren comenzamos rápido el video porque en israel es tarde entonces, el teselado nos va a llevar un poquito de tiempo, pero estábamos hablando un poquito sobre los libros de el maestro Ilian Garibi. Y yo les digo que los libros de él son lo máximo desde el principio hasta el final. Entonces, yo le estaba diciendo a él que él tiene tres bebés. Yo le decía que era el bebé número uno, el bebé número dos y por último el bebé número tres. Y él me dice que hay otro bebé que no es tan famoso porque tiene juegos de origami. Entonces ese libro ha de ser fabuloso. Y lo mejor que me dice él es que viene su libro número dos de teselados. Así que prepárense para los amantes de los teselados porque viene su segundo libro de teselados. Y como él dice, a él no le gusta hacer los teselados complejos, sino que le gusta hacerlos fáciles. Él tiene experiencia enseñando. Le ha enseñado a niños de 4 y 5 años, imagínense, esa experiencia se refleja en sus libros. You know that from your two books, I, I love all the books, all of your books are wonderful, and, but the one that caught my heart is the, the selection book. Yeah, because I, since I saw it, since I opened the book, the first thing that I see is this, the dedication. <laughs> And I said, oh my God, I'm a woman. So I'm very romantic. When I saw to my wife who shares my path in life, I said, this is going to be an amazing book. Oh, and I was not wrong. Yeah, and I was not wrong. Este libro comienza con la dedicación de él. Este libro se lo dedica a su esposa, su fiel compañera en el camino. Imagínense. Um, I love your book. Uh, talking about that book, I love how you move in the book how you move from uh, what is modular you begin with um the basic ones and after you continue moving and you know there is one model that i love and that one is the pointless the pointless <laughs> the pointless cube that one is since i saw it i said why is the is it the pointless cube it's beautiful why do you call it like that the pointless cube <laughs> because uh if you look at the cube there are no points there are only the edges and actually when you think about it there's no point to the cube as well because why do you need a cube without a point so it's it's like a double meaning and i really <laughs> like the double meaning of the pointless cube you know you are very creative with the names your names are beautiful. For example, I'm going to tell you some names that got my attention. You got these ones, and uh, let me see what are they. Um, one is the pointless cube, pineapples. That's, I love that one. Extreme pineapples. You have Amsterdam and the mushroom field. So <laughs> some of the names are coming from how the model looks like. So the pineapple kind of reminded me a pineapple field uh, so you have a lot of pineapples on the table the mushroom field definitely looks like, like a mushroom field so it was a very natural name amsterdam was a model i designed when i was in amsterdam so That's i said that. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah so i have a few models as such like saigon uh, which would be in the second book and uh, maybe there was another one so um i I also have a list on the internet of the top 100 most beautiful words in English. 
So I take some ideas from there as well. You are very, very, very smart. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Miren, le estaba preguntando a él por los nombres de sus diseños, porque los nombres de él son tan creativos. Por ejemplo, tiene un cubo que se llama el cubo sin sentido, que es uno de mis favoritos. Está the pineapples, que significa piñas. Extreme pineapples, las piñas extremas. Hay uno que se llama Amsterdam, que él me dice que es porque él estuvo en Amsterdam. Y uno que se llama the mushroom field, que es el campo de los hongos. Entonces, él es tan creativo con sus nombres, pero él dice que él busca los nombres y se los pone por la forma en la que lucen los deshelados. Entonces, y también se pone a buscar cuáles son las palabras más usadas en Estados Unidos, las más exitosas, y de a veces de ahí toma las ideas. Wow, that's great. And you know another thing that I notice about um, your deshelations, I love all your families. The families of the deshelations, they are amazing. They are great, but my favorite one is the Hood family. The Hood, yes. The Hood family, it's beautiful because of the meaning of all, how you are moving from childhood to childhood evolve, growing up, adulthood. That's amazing. That's, that's great. That was a, 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 a very cute idea. It was lovely. Those names are amazing. Thank you. I think I think indeed what I felt with this food family that uh, there was a, a real process there. Uh, I started by seeing as Alessandra Lamio mo model, which was called the Circle of Life, and then uh, there was another model by Dasha, which is I don't remember her name, but maybe. Uh, and I was trying to do something that was kind of uh, no, sorry. Alessandra Lamio, do you know the, the model by Alessandra Lamio that has like four? So this one is called, how is it called? Uh, I don't really remember, but I was trying to imitate, to tessellate something as such. And, and then I came up with a, a complex solution. And I, I looked at it and I said, this is too much. I probably can simplify it. And the simplification was childhood. And I felt like something new was born. And then I met another friend, a guy from Israel, and we realized together that we can duplicate the number of repetitions. And then it, the childhood become adulthood. And, and in between, you have so many possibilities. So they were like growing up. Uh, don't do eight repetitions, do only three. This is only the beginning of adulthood. So growing up and uh, that's that's the story behind that's they are great because you see how you are growing how far you are moving from one to the other and that's something that i like and uh, that's why i tell you that's why this one is my favorite book because since the very beginning it gets your attention not only the names but the diagrams and how um how simple you explain everything and uh, this book it makes me because of you i did something i'm gonna show you this is what oh. i did because of you i got some oh. elephant. i got elephant. it i am going to fold yours because at the beginning i was trying to fold it but to fold some desolations but i was using craft paper and i didn't like the way they look yeah so i said no if i want to begin um really folding the selections i'm going to buy good paper so i did and i'm ready <laughs> yeah. master ilam garibi i want to ask you something it's when i see your work i, I can i cannot believe how everything comes to your mind how you create how easily you design these beautiful things i want to ask you something i know that your beginnings in the origami were because of one book you showed me one day when i was translating and how this transition happens from folding origami designed by other people and designing your own models how does this happen so there are actually two stories about that i think um for many years i was trying when i was younger i was trying to create new models but i was stupid enough to try and fold animals mm -hmm. and and to make animals out of origami you, you have to have a better knowledge and understanding that i had and i had only the four books by uh, robert harbin origami one two three and four and there was 
was no other person who was folding with me. So I had no one to talk to. I had no one to learn from. And when I was young, I was sure that creating models was way above my head. Only 20 years after, I went to Singapore. And then I found so many new books. I found Unit Origami by Tomoko Kuzen. I found Brilliant Origami by Dave Brill. And uh, A to Z Origami. And so many books. And suddenly, my head was spinning. Because I never heard about Unit Origami or Modulars and stuff, stuff like that. And uh, I realized at some point that geometric models are more into my taste and my abilities. Um, so the first tessellation I designed was actually a mistake that I did by trying to redo Ralph Conrad's start of tessellation. Mm. I just repeated in my home after Gila a friend of mine, she told me how to fold this tessellation. Mm -hmm. So at home, I was trying to do it, and I didn't succeed. It was a failure, but I did get something else. And Gila told me, wow, nice, so you made a new tessellation. And actually, tessellations are quite easy to, to come with once you understand the logic. So I started to research the logic, and I found the two simple rules. We are going to talk about them in the workshop. Uh, that helped me playing with this paper and finding more and more options. And I think one of the major tools I'm using is to ask myself, what if? What if I add spaces? What if I duplicate it? What if I shift it? What if I make it on a hexagon instead, instead of a square? Yeah. And as you can see, the chapters are actually the answer for those questions. Uh, like the red flower and the double red flower is the question answer to what if I can repeat the process in a smaller scale. Mm -hmm. And the green flower tessellation is what if I rotate everything 45 degrees. So this is this is my major tool to find more and more options within the basic starting point. Amazing. Somebody there says that your books, your work looks like fractals. Yeah. I, I have a few designs, yes, but not that many, not that many. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, incredible. Le he preguntado al maestro Garibi cómo es que él da esa transición, ese paso de plegar origami de otras personas a crear. Entonces, él me dice que al principio, como ustedes saben, él comenzó el, su origami por un libro, por un diseño de un pajarito. Eh, y comenzó a crear, dice que una vez viajó a Singapur y en Singapur él compra unos libros de Tomoko Fuse, compra unos libros de David Brill y él descubre en sí lo que es el origami modular. Al principio él trató de crear animales, dice que él fue estúpido de tratar de crear animales porque no le gusta. Y cuando él descubre los módulos, los, el origami modular se enamora de eso y comienza a crear. Y lo que es su primer teselado lo creó porque fue un error que él cometió al plegar un teselado de otra persona. Entonces le dijeron, mira, este teselado, este lo creaste tú. Y comienza él a intentar. Dice que cada vez que él pliega un teselado o diseña, su pregunta principal es, ¿y qué sucede? ¿Y qué sucede si cambio este, este hexágono por un triángulo? ¿O si cambio esto por esto? si agrego más. Entonces, esa es la forma en la que él diseña sus tesselados. I know you have designed so many, many tessellations and uh, so many um, modulars. Is there any of them that is your favorite? First, uh, let me just say that for the workshop, mm -hmm. I think maybe people should prepare some grids so it mm -hmm. will be easier for us and not to wait. So what we need to I have is... Them, yeah. Yeah, you told, told them? To have, yeah, they, I told them one grid nine by nine and the other one 16 by 16, right? Oh, perfect job, perfect, so, thank you. So work. my favorite my favorite changes, um, I think the cube tessellation is so simple, but so interesting, and you have so many variations coming out of it. I have another chapter in the second book about more variations for the 
for the cube tessellation. And so definitely this is one of my most favorite one. And especially because it's very easy for me to do uh, jewelries out of. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> if you look at this one, it may not look really a, a cube tessellation, but it is exactly the cube tessellation uh, with some curved lines instead of straight lines. And its simplicity and the versatility of it makes it one of the, the one of the one of my most beloved models, I think. Yeah. And another one is actually Hilula, which is, I don't think I have it here, but um, it's a model that is so surprising that you get something so interesting out of a very small change in the crisp pattern of cube tessellation. It's, it's almost identical to the cube tessellation, but you just take the diagonals one square out of the center, and suddenly you have these curved triangles and uh, I love this one. So those two are definitely my favorite. Wow. And also the pineapple, also the pineapple because it's so unique. Uh, I know that the cube tessellation was discovered way before me by uh, Ron Resch. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's not like really mine, uh, but uh, the pineapple is for sure Nobody else did anything like that, so I'm quite, I'm quite uh, proud about it. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, both are gorgeous. Yeah, le he preguntado cuál de los teselados que él diseñó es su favorito, y me dice que le gusta mucho el teselado de cubos, the cube tessellation, y le gusta mucho el de pineapple tessellation, que es el teselado de piñas, porque dice que en el libro 2 él va a tener muchas variaciones de lo que es el teselado de cubos y nos mostró unas piezas de su joyería donde él pone ay, 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 donde él pone teselados excuse me why do you sell those things because they are gorgeous i see your pictures and i say how can we get those ones miren qué lindo un anillo con teselado what material did you use for making the ring i am asking you because i'm a ring lover <laughs> So the, the ring is made out of brass <coughs> and it's coated with gold. So, yeah. Imagínense, wow. And how do you do, for example, because I have seen so many beautiful jewelry you have. Do you sell them in a specific place? Do you have it? Do you have them available for people from other countries or just in Israel? No, no. I, actually, I sell them online on my site, but you can just contact me and I will. We'll, we'll figure it out, I'll send you. I, I will sell on the internet, so no problem. If you have something that you like, you just contact me. Thank yeah. you for telling me because there are many people who don't know this and uh, they mm. just see the pictures and they don't know about this. So let me see. Miren, el maestro Ilan Garibi, él diseña lo que es joyería. Y él dice que la joyería él la tiene en la tienda en su página web. Así que si ustedes están interesados, solamente hay que contactarse con él para decirle qué es lo que le gustaría. Me parece interesante y fascinante. I have seen your jewelry and I am, I'm in love with it. And I wanted to ask you about that one. How, how did you begin working with jewelry? Especially because you are using your designs and your tessellation, your molecules. And I see them and I am so, so impressed with your work. With, yes. Um, I, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Anillos de todo. Wow. So, um, one of the things that I did was uh, to present an exhibition in Tel Aviv. And there was a guy who was very interested in the lamps that I did. And uh, he owns a very nice company of lamps making. And he suggested me to work together and to make lamps that we made them. And after uh, maybe six months, they were presented in Milan design week so suddenly my paper designs became to be lamps so you think about all the people who goes to milan design week and you think 
We know that origami people around the world, we have, I don't know, maybe 10,000, 20,000 highly interested people in, in origami. But in Milan Design Week, like 10,000 people are crossing the, the street in one hour. And <laughs> so there are so many more people interested in design. I said, why should I limit myself only to the origami people? So let me try and do some more design issues. And, and you know, for design products, paper is never good enough. How do you clean a lamp from paper? What happens if you spill on it water? Uh, how long will it last? Uh, will it get on fire? Uh, is it strong enough to hold anything? So I realized paper is the wrong material. So I had to find a way to fold other materials. And I started to research. And once you start to research, you just find solutions. Either some people, other people discovered them, or you just came up with your own solutions. And I, I found a lot of techniques to fold wood, and metal and plastic and fabric. Fabric, I never discovered anything because it's all there. You can fold fabric with uh, high temperature, like ironing. You can stitch it like, uh, you know that, a very known system. Like fleece skirts, they are done with folded fabric. So you have only to look, and there are so many smart people around you. So you find a solution. And if you don't find a solution, you come up with your own solution. And so now I know to fold a lot of materials, and uh, one of them is metal, and this is what I mainly do for art projects and jewelry. So your um, rings, they are made with wood. Yeah, those ones. I have, I have a few. I've done a few. I have this from wood. Oh, this. miren esta pulsera, una pulsera de madera. Yes. But this is, I cannot put my hand through, yes. But this is, this is <laughs> for me. Yes. yes. So it's actually, wow. actually wood. And uh, so I, I have a, I had some rings from wood. I have those bracelets from wood. I have necklace from wood. Yeah. Nothing can stop you if you know the technique. It's only learn how to do it and just do it. That's what I like about you and your work because you are very bold. You are not afraid of trying something. For that reason, you are breaking uh, barriers and you are innovating. My wife says that my one of the biggest point of my success is due to the fact that I have no fear. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not really true. I have fear, but I just ignore it because. Fear is does not make any sense. It's not. It's not from here. It's, it's from from the stomach. So you know that you are afraid, but you just don't care. You just continue because if you have a good idea and you have good hands and you have and you can practice and try, then there's no reason not to succeed. Exactly. It's as simple as that. Your wife is very right, and she's very lucky. Does she like jewelry? Yes, she has a lot of jewelry for me. Yes. Oh course. my. She's so lucky. <laughs> wow. Miren, le he preguntado a él cómo fue que eh, me están preguntando por el material de su joyería. Many people are asking me about the material that you use. So I'm going to tell them. Eh, él dice que, eh, primero, la pregunta que le hice fue esta: ¿Cómo es que él comienza a experimentar con otros materiales? Y él me dice que hay una semana en Milán que se llama la Semana de la Creatividad del Origami. Y todas las personas llegan y se abarrota una calle. Y hay mucha gente que está interesada en el diseño. Y compran y compran cosas de origami. Esto en Italia, Milán. Y él se puso a pensar, yo quiero llegar más lejos de las personas de origami. Quiero tocar otro tipo de personas. Y él se pone a pensar, ¿qué pasa si hago una lámpara y se quema? ¿Qué pasa si hago una lámpara y se, mo se moja? Entonces, él quería hacer algo bonito y resistente. Entonces, en ese momento, dice él que comienza a buscar en internet qué materiales él podía utilizar para hacer eh, otro tipo de origami. Y comienza a trabajar con metal. Así que esos que ven, los collares que ven acá, los colgantes son de metal. Comenzó a plegar lo que son eh, también madera. Y él dice que ha continuado y él continúa hasta tela. 
entonces él continúa experimentando. Yo le digo a él que eso me gusta de él, porque él no tiene miedo a cometer errores. Y la esposa le dice que el secreto de su éxito es que él no tiene miedo. Y él dice que él sí tiene miedo, pero que el miedo es una barrera, una limitación. Entonces hay que vencerlo. Oh, my God. Everybody's really happy to see your work. And uh, that's really, really beautiful. I, I never saw that before. When I saw your, for example, your bracelet, I saw it in the internet and I say, wow, that's a beautiful bracelet. And uh, I was, I didn't believe it that it was um, made of, with origami techniques. And um, something that you say that is very important is, I'm going to talk again. I'm going to go back to the, um, to your tessellations, specifically to the bricks tessellation, because I saw something that it really got my attention in the brick tessellation. I saw one picture in your Flickr where you put your brick tessellation, there was a piece of um, glass, and there was somebody standing on it. So My daughter. Wow, your daughter was standing and nothing happened to that tessellation. It no. was, okay. and what kind of? What paper did you use? Elephant hide. Wow, I have to try that tessellation. We don't understand how strong paper can be. Yeah. Uh, and when you have, when you have maybe, I think the model have uh, eight by eight or maybe 10 by 10 uh, molecules. So the whole weight of my daughter, she was about the age of 12 at the time. Mm -hmm. So, I think she was weighing uh, maybe 10, uh, 40 kilograms. So divide 40 kilograms for four, for 100 uh, cubes, every cube gets only 400 grams. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not, not enough to squash it. So once you make a tessellation, it becomes a very solid, very strong material. Yeah. I was amazed because because I didn't think about that. Sometimes we do normal origami and I put a book on it and it's destroyed. But I saw that <laughs> one and I said, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, unbelievable. Eh, miren, le estoy preguntando sobre una foto de él que vi en Flickr sobre su teselado de, que se llama ladrillos, brick tessellation. Entonces, esta foto me llamó la atención. Si pueden, vayan, visiten el Flickr de Ilan Garibi y van a ver que él ha puesto su teselado de ladrillo, de brick tessellation, le puso un trozo de, de vidrio y su hija de 12 años se paró en el teselado y no le pasó nada. Entonces él me dice que a veces nosotros ignoramos el poder y la fuerza de lo que es el papel. Entonces yo le digo a él que a veces hacemos algo de origami y le pongo un libro encima y se aplasta, pero con los teselados es diferente. Wow, that's, that's great, that's amazing. And... The last question that I want to ask you is about the World Marathon, because I know yeah. that you have the co-founder. And uh, last last year it was, I think last year was the first marathon, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I was so sad because I couldn't attend it. I have a son and he was five years old by that time, but this time I could because my son is now is seven, he's seven. And um, this time he even was was in the workshops with me. He was playing. He was quiet. I love the World Marathon. So I want to ask you how this uh, this event came to your mind. How do you think about that? Because it's a great event, and I know everybody's waiting for it. Now everybody's waiting for the next one. So uh, on March we had our seventh convention in Israel, and the last day of the convention was the first day of the lockdown. So we were so lucky to have this uh, convention in person. It was just the last moment because after that there was a lockdown. Yeah. And immediately after the lockdown, we started to do uh, Zoom meetings. And we started with a daily Zoom meeting every day because everybody was in a lockdown. So we said, we'll just do it. And um, so we started to have a lot of experience with Zoom. Like after a month, we had more than 30 meetings already and we learn how to play with this and maybe early april i was driving i was driving to tel aviv mm -hmm. and i said to myself that there must be a better way to use zoom than to just do a workshop mm -hmm. and then i said why don't we let everyone from around the world to join 
So and then, then I said, yeah, let's do a marathon. Let's make it 48 hours and let's all the, creature, uh, the teachers to be from a different time zone and they must be the creators. Yeah, four minutes, like on the highway of Israel, in four minutes I had all the concepts coming to my head just by looking for it. What is the best way to enjoy Zoom all over the place? Like, don't, don't limit it only to Israel or to only to our group, but let's open it to everyone. And so I called the guy and I said, okay, listen up, this is the idea. And then I sent a message to Nicola and I told him, okay, Nicola, here's another project. Are you ready? And he, said, he was afraid. Okay, what are you going to do now? <laughs> and I said, okay, it's very simple. It's only uh, 48 workshops in a, in a marathon, one hour after the other. And he said, yeah, okay, let's do it. And then no fear. There's no fear. We just look for people, ask them, uh, can we manage the time? Yes. So the first marathon, we arranged it in about three months. Unbelievable. Because the second marathon, we started to organize immediately after the first one was finished. So it took us a year. Yeah. But when we didn't have the time. Three months was enough because you just do it. Never fear. Amazing. Are you going to continue with the marathon every year? I think it's a it's a wonderful uh, concept. I think it brings uh, it brings new names from new places. I think Montir Saada was never teaching on Zoom anyone, and suddenly we have so many people to know him, and his work is so nice and so uh, full of. You know, and, and suddenly, now you know, know him. And uh, and uh, to be able to learn from Gena Giwara in the morning and then uh, Carmen Sprung in the evening and then uh, Lidian uh, Sequera from, from uh, Brazil. Uh, Brazil, Brazil. Uh, okay. in the late night. This is a wonderful opportunity to meet people, to understand the creators, to, to be... And this time we made only new models. So we also encourage creativity and more. So yeah, definitely we will continue. I think it's a beautiful idea and it works perfectly. And next time we, are, we will try to be better. I think you are doing that. Better impossible. Maybe more uh, ideas, but everything is great. Everybody loves the marathon. And this time, something that I love about this time is that I heard Last time I purchased the videos and uh, it took a longer to get the videos, but this time they were available exactly after the workshop. So that, that's something that I really loved. Yeah, I think, I think it's important to give people who cannot stand in the, in the rhythm, if it's too quick for them, they know that immediately after enjoying the workshop, even if they cannot follow, they can immediately complete the model and otherwise they can be frustrated and I think this is a very good idea to do. And that's why we, we, we insist to have the videos ready for the marathon. So, yeah. 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 That was a big achievement, believe me. I, I, I was so excited about the marathon. And exactly on Friday afternoon, I got an accident and I spent all the night in the hospital. And I was at this time, oh my God, this is Ali because I had a list of the ones I wanted to attend. And I had Ali, I was so sad because I missed Alice and I missed Jose, but a friend told me, Mariela, the videos are already available. And I said, what? And I was so happy because it, that was great. <laughs> you did a Wonderful. good job, that was well done. Yeah, you scored a big goal there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. Le he preguntado al maestro Ilean sobre la World Marathon, porque ese es un evento muy bueno. Entonces le pregunto yo a él cómo es que surge esta idea, porque él fue el cofundador. Y él me dice que el año pasado, lo que fue, estaba organizada la um, Convención de Israel. Entonces, justamente cae lo que es el, el lockdown, lo que sería, ¿se acuerdan? Cuando nadie podía salir. Ya se me olvidó cómo decir lockdown en español. Entonces, eh, cuando las personas no podían salir por el virus, entonces ellos comenzaron a tener en Israel reuniones de Zoom diarias para ofrecer talleres de origami. Entonces él, como siempre de creativo, se pone a pensar, ¿y por qué no podemos hacer un poco, eh, usar el Zoom para, para alcanzar a tanta gente alrededor del mundo y que puedan participar? Entonces dice que en cuatro minutos organizó él todas las ideas y llama a Nicolás Terry 
y le dice sobre eso. Y entonces él le dice, ok, hagámoslo. Entonces, eh, de esta forma ellos comenzaron a contactar creadores de diferentes países del mundo. Y dice él que, por ejemplo, tuvieron a Lidian Sequeira por primera vez desde Brasil. Imagínense mi querida Lidian. Y esto fue, es una gran oportunidad porque tomaron muchos talentos de diferentes países del mundo con sus propios diseños y fue excelente. Entonces, nosotros le agradecemos esa idea enorme. Oh, my God. So many things. But now, I think it's time to fold. Are you ready yep. to explain us that tessellation? I am yes. very, very clumsy with tessellations. So I, I am going to follow you and I'm going to explain people and I am going to fold mine later, okay? Mm -hmm. Listos, vamos okay. a comenzar el plegado del teselado. Él dijo que nos va a explicar dos pasos muy importantes en el teselado. Yo no lo voy a plegar, voy a concentrarme en explicarles lo que él les va a transmitir. Así que listos, traigan sus tramas. Okay, Ilan, we're all yours. Thank you. Okay, so um, this is this is uh, roses, and you can see why because every molecule seems like a rose. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually designed this one in the first CFC convention for creators, which is another project that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. It's a convention only for creators, and we discuss. We don't fold in the, this convention. We only discuss things that make us better. Yeah. So I was sitting there and I just uh, started to play with paper like I usually do and I got to this molecule and I don't know exactly how I reached the collapse but once I did it looks quite beautiful and I was quite impressed by myself so because the, the crease pattern is very simple yeah it's only this and actually now the workshop is open. Uh, if you have this you don't need anything more you can you can do it by yourself now i will explain how to do it of course but, but actually the the workshop is finished you know now you already know how to do it there's only how to collapse <laughs> we'll do it separately mm -hmm. so uh we are starting with marking the center i i strongly recommend you to mark the creases on the paper so first just Mark the center. Uh -huh. No vayan a hacer nada todavía porque él está describiendo qué es lo que él cree que es lo que hay que hacer al principio, que es lo básico de marcar el, el, lo que es el centro. Eh, for marking the center and for following all the process, we are going to use the 16 by 16 grid right now. Uh, the 9 by 9. Oh, the one 9 by 9. Yes. Ok. Ok. Eh, okay. Eh, vamos so, a comenzar con la... Con la trama de 9 por 9 así que con eso vamos a comenzar so uh, this is 2 4 6 8 9 by 9 mm -hmm. and uh, the molecule looks like this we are going to collapse by making mountains going to the edges I'm, I'm just showing it in short mm -hmm. and once we have this situation uh, this uh, position we have to take it even more so this line and this line reaches this line mm -hmm. so I'm just doing this and this is the model. Wow! Okay? So that's beautiful. So, so all, all we have two stages of collapse. One is to have it like this, mm -hmm. which is nice by itself. But I never stop here, yeah. and then you wow. make it go all the way. Down. Okay. So how do we do this? Let's start by marking the oh. the crease. Okay. okay. And bueno, vamos a comenzar en este momento. No va a explicar él el paso por el paso, el paso a paso. Solamente estaba, estaba explicando él cómo va a lucir y cómo se va a colapsar. Así que tomen su, su trama en este momento y marquen lo que es el centro, ¿ok? Ok. And now we are going to concentrate, or we are going to do the triangles. But I don't want you to do the triangle at once. I want you to go step by step. So the first step to do is to fold this one and this one. Mm -hmm. And I want you to mark it anyway. Mm -hmm. So you have to mark one, two, three, and four. And if you notice, this is the triangle of, um, wait, let me find some tool to help me here. Oh uh, yeah, maybe here. One, 
person who is using paper with two colors is saying, for example, if the white one, the white one is going to be, which one is up, color or white, the white color? Uh, this side will stay up. What is up at the beginning will stay up at the end. Okay. So what color? So this is the top. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, we don't care about the color because uh, this the, we, we are going only to see this side. The other side is quite ugly, so we don't care about the other side. Okay. So, so once we have this, you have to notice that this line is a rectangle of a square of two by two, two by one. So, so you just start from this corner and you do this diagonal. And then from this corner, you do this diagonal. And from this, and from this. Mm -hmm. So this line and this line are parallel, and this line and this line are parallel. Mm -hmm. Si se fijan, esas líneas que salen de las esquinas del, del cuadrado marcan lo que es, dividen un rectángulo. Miren, un rectángulo de dos cuadrados. Así que eso es lo que van a hacer ustedes. Pueden utilizar marcador en este momento, lo que ustedes se les facilite. Ok. Ok, I'm just preparing something. Second. Mm. So, this is a, uh, sorry, a diagonal of two by one. Exactly. Two yeah? by one. And this is also here, and also here, mm -hmm. and also here. From the same point, there's another possible triangle, uh, sorry, diagonal that we can make. And this is the one that go to the one by two. Mm -hmm. So this one was here, but then the next one is here. Uh -huh. So when it's horizontal so when it's and after point, you take it to you vertical. Go mm -hmm. once here and second time here. And mm -hmm. this is one by two, and this is two by one. Ah, OK. OK? okay. So we just do it all around. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita. Si ustedes ven, en el primero se divide lo que es el rectángulo de una forma horizontal y luego de una forma vertical. Así que sean exactos. One and two. And all the part. Mm -hmm. And then once we do one, two, three, and four, all we have to do is to connect those two diagonals and complete the triangle. Okay. Great, wow. I cannot believe that that simple pattern, it looks simple and the roads look so beautiful and so complicated. <laughs> That's the beauty of simplicity. Yes, beauty and simplicity, and now, the best combination. We want to emphasize all the lines that goes from the corner, that go from the corners of the triangle outside. Okay. Ahora está marcando todas las líneas que salen de la punta del triángulo. No la punta, sino que el lado del triángulo. Van a marcar ustedes lo que son las líneas. Miren. Ok. And please, please note that some of them are two squares and some of them are three, three squares. So mm -hmm. short and long. Mm -hmm. short, short and long. Short and long and, and they are just the same all around. Las líneas, unas tienen dos cuadrados y la otra tiene tres cuadrados. Así que... Es el mismo patrón en los cuatro lados. Now we are going to zigzag them. So this is a mountain. This will be a valley. This is a mountain. So we have valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley. So it, it goes, you just pinch them. You just pinch them. Now, sometimes the center will pop up and you pinch and you get something ugly as such. You mm -hmm. push the center to the bottom always. You want the, the center to stay on the table. So you pinch, and you just pinch. Just first, just pinch it, and don't don't fight it. Just pinch it, and let it sit as tight as possible. Make sure the triangles are flat, because sometimes they will be uh, like this. Yeah. Uh, and that's not so good. So you always worry that the triangles are flat, and you have four, eight mountains: two, 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 and two. Exactly. So this is this oh, is what you have here, mm -hmm. and you push, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is the first stage of, of the collapse. Mm -hmm. uh, shall I continue or wait a little bit? Yeah, wait, wait a little bit. Um, wait a little bit. 
eh, miren, 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 miren lo que dijo él. Allí él está agregando lo que son los valles plegados en valles y montañas. Ahora lo que él dice cuando nosotros, excuse me, the red ones are mountain or valleys? Those are mountains. Okay. All of them have to be folded as mountains. Okay. Los maybe triángulos I, I como didn't give you enough time. I didn't give you enough time to fold them. So maybe we'll stop here and wait until everybody will fold okay. all the triangles as mountains. Okay. Yeah, I was running too fast. Okay. Sorry. Dice el que está viendo muy rápido, así que le va a dar tiempo porque lo que son los triángulos, eso va en montaña. Mire, todo es montaña. Entonces, y lo que son las líneas que salen de los, del triángulo, de la parte de abajo del triángulo o parte de arriba a veces, eh, son dos montañas y un valle. Así que ahorita plieguen, si ya marcaron los triángulos, plieguenlos en montaña. Eh, yo sé que es un poco difícil para algunas personas, como yo, por ejemplo, pero hay personas que son muy habilidosas con los teselados, así que ustedes háganlo. Miren qué lindo. Y un consejo que él dio es que a la hora de colapsar, ustedes van a colapsar el centro primero y lo que es el triángulo, traten que el triángulo quede plano, que los cuatro triángulos queden plano, que no vayan a partirse. Entonces, eso es uno de los secretos para poderlo colapsar bien. Wow, that one is going to be in your second book. Yeah. yeah, but you already know it. So. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Do we, do you know or do you still know? Do you know that day when uh, the book is going to be out or not yet? Uh, uh, actually, all the diagrams are finished. Now the graphic designer is putting them together into a book. Mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully, we are trying very diff out, very hard to make it available late, late October. What? But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but I may be too optimistic here because uh, we just started. I have only the first chapter ready, uh, so now it's proofreading and test folding, and uh, I don't know if we can do it in two months. Oh, it's, it it will be intense, but we will try. We will try to have it before Christmas out. Wow. That's that's the goal. Yeah. El me estaba yeah. explicando. Que... Yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Thank you. El me estaba explicando que el libro nuevo en este momento ya todos los gráficos están diseñados, los diagramas los están testeando nada más y que van a tratar de que el segundo libro esté disponible antes de diciembre, before Christmas. Así que ojalá que pueda ser así. Oh, we're gonna be waiting for that. By that time, I am going to be able to fold the selections. You will see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, if you manage to do the triangles as mountains, okay. you should make all the lines that go from the corners to the edges as mountain as well. Here they are green, but they mean also mountains. So I just mm -hmm. used a different color, but it's mountain like the triangles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. you have to push. Mm -hmm. Sorry, to pinch, uh, okay. pinch, pinch all of them. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do, make sure that this triangle stays flat, flat mm -hmm. and center is on the table. Mm -hmm. Because if it goes like this, then you won't be able to collapse. Exactly. So you have to push, push all, all the time. Wow. Okay. Manténganlo and, en la mesa y presionen el centro y mantengan los triángulos. Eh, afuera planos y traten de colapsarlo. You know there is a person who is very good in Argentina with tessellations and she says that yes. she's following you and uh, she 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 got it already. Oh, she, she got it already. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. Somebody uh, is so asking it's you, somebody is asking you if you can show the grease flat again, please. Oh, there it is. Okay, Alison, there is the grease. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine by nine. Mm -hmm. We actually only only seven by seven. Mm -hmm. The edges of the molecule truly. Mm -hmm. But uh, if, if we do the molecule without the extra edge, mm -hmm. row and column, it will be hard to collapse because you have nowhere to have to hold. So that's why I I always have. For the single molecule, 
an extra row and column. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can I show the final collapse now? Yeah. Okay. okay, so now remember that I said that this mountain is only two squares and this is a three square one. So the rotation, now we are going to twist everything. Mm -hmm. So this four and this mountain are going to reach here. Okay. So the two cover the three. The short goes on top of the long. So I'm just holding them together and I'm just rotating everything. And you can see that with my hands, mm -hmm. I also put this line to cover this and this line to cover this. And I'm just doing this. Mm -hmm. and it's... Wow. And then, yeah. Miren lo que él hizo. Él marcó las cuatro puntos aquí porque la rosa alcanza esos cuatro puntos. Entonces, lo que él hace al colapsar es que colapsa y también le da vuelta, lo va retorciendo. Entonces, eso es lo que tienen que hacer ustedes. No solamente es el colapsado, sino que colapsar y mover. Short, long, together, short, long, together, short covers long, mm -hmm. here and here, and then you have zigzag, zigzag on all, all four edges. So you have one, two, three, and then it's over. Yeah, wow. Miren qué lindo. Es, es, es solamente eso. Yo creo que toma tiempo el, para las personas como yo. Yo soy tonta en lo que son los deselados. Qué hermoso. That's so beautiful. Wow. It's a beautiful design. Oh my God. You see? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. When I see this one, this, the pattern, the diagram of this uh, molecule, I don't feel scared. So it's like kind of inviting people to fall. People say that it's beautiful and some people did it. So you can you can shape it a little bit. So you have this line, you have this line here. It's part of the grid. So you can you can push it and open a little bit the the inner part if you want to. But it's only shaping and it doesn't really matter. You can actually flat it completely. Uh, Maybe I can show you another one. Okay. How what happens when you make it flat? Okay. Uh, Mira, miren lo que está diciendo él en este momento. Dice que ustedes la pueden, le pueden dar forma, la pueden levantar así como 3D, así como le está mostrando ahí, o lo pueden dejar completamente plano. En este momento él va a mostrarles cómo queda plano. Así que miren qué lindo para tarjetas. Ay, qué, qué belleza. Entonces. Este, el amarillo, va a tener lo que es volumen y el otro va a quedar plano, para que vean ustedes cómo queda. So, if you make it flat, mm -hmm. then it reminds you a, a model by Michael Kosmolsky mm -hmm. that has interlaced uh, triangles, but I really prefer the, the 3D one. I, I don't have that many flat oscillations. Most of them has volume. Mm -hmm. So, I think this is, this is the best way to, to have it yeah. with this little uh, yeah, it looks better. It looks yeah, better. I think it's Yeah. Somebody's asking, what's the size that you recommend, the size of the paper you are using right now? Uh, this one is um, maybe 15, uh, 20 by 20, mm -hmm. and it's divided to nine, so every molecule is more than two centimeters. Uh, mm -hmm. This one, this one I was making from about 1.5 centimeters for a square. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's always a question of how small you dare to go. Oh, uh, I think I have, I have another version. Just a second. Okay. El dice que mide ese 20 por 20. 20 por 20. If you really want to go crazy, you can go to maybe 8 millimeters. Wow. But this is, this is too much work. This is like, wow. this is too much. Too much. Okay, so now let's go to a bigger project. Maybe we won't fold it all together now because uh, it will take a lot of time for you to complete. Exactly. But I want you to copy this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you see anything. Let me check. Yeah, yeah. there it is. There it is. Okay. Tomen una foto para que tengan lo que es el diagrama de ese. Mira. 
But please notice, it's very important for you to notice that this line or this molecule and this molecule are not exactly the same because they are mirror image. Uh -huh. So all the lines here, if these lines go from this corner inside, so this from this corner, it go to the other direction. Mm -hmm. You don't want this one to here because otherwise this should have been here. Exactly. And it's not. It's a mirror image. Yeah. So, uh, and, and the fact that it's mirror image is because you can see that this is not in the center, it's at the bottom. Yeah. And this, it's on the top. So if you take this molecule and put it here, you will have the folds here and here, and mm -hmm. they do not match. In order for them to match, you have to find a mirror image. So the folds of the next one will be here and not here. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have a mirror image. Mirror image, all of them are always mirror oh. to all directions. So Excellent. Just, really just copy this, and I'll show you how to collapse it. Hopefully I will manage. Oh. And but you will, you will do it by yourself. Okay, I will tell so you. Actually, all you have to do is to diagram okay. this one and one copy, and after that you can complete all the four. Exactly. Uh, let me tell them that. Wow, that's that's great. Let me see. Yeah. Ah, miren, él dice que en este momento plegar ese grande va a ser sería imposible plegarlo, así que recomienda que tomen una foto de lo que es el diagrama y lo único que él quiere que ustedes tengan en cuenta es que cuando ustedes hagan cada rosa, cada rosa no es igual, sino que es, es imagen de espejo. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que ustedes ponen una imagen y va a ser lo contrario acá. Entonces, mirror image, mirror image, la de aquí todas las imágenes son en, como espejo. No vayan a cometer el error de hacerlas todas iguales porque entonces no lo van a poder colapsar. Entonces, en este momento lo que él va a enseñar es cómo ya teniendo lo que es eh, la trama, ya teniendo lo que son los pliegues, que son casi todos en, en montaña, como pudieron ver. Entonces, va a enseñar él cómo colapsarlo todo, ¿ok? Ok, let's see. Ok, so... Oh, uh, excuse me. One person is asking in which row or it's are the green squares. Ok, so it's... it's if you remember, mm -hmm. the size of the molecule is seven by seven mm -hmm. so one two, three four five six seven and this is the center but we have an extra row here yeah. so we actually count one then one two three and one so one two three four five so if you start from the corner it's the easiest you count one two three four on the fifth you put one now between two is seven molecules so seven squares so one two three four five six seven mm -hmm. and then one two Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or maybe you just count from the corners, five inward. One, two, three, four, and the fifth. One, two, three, four, and the fifth, and so on. Perfect, perfect, great. Eh, para las personas que está preguntando por dónde se ubican los triangulitos verdes, él dice que hay dos formas. Si ustedes vamos a contar, si eligen el cuadrito de la esquina, van a contar cinco. One, two, three, four, five. Y aquí va a ir el verde. Entonces, lo mismo de cada esquina. O pueden ubicar uno y siete. Van a contar siete espacios porque cada molécula tiene siete. Entonces, así van a ubicar lo que son los cuadrados verdes. Thank you. Great, great, great. Okay. Wow. So, yes. Of course, the next step will be to fold all, all the lines that you mark. Mm -hmm. What I suggest is to start always with those inner lines mm -hmm. and then, then move to the next one and do the mirror image so you start from this point inward and from this point also inward but both go in opposite direction and then once you do it all of them you do the one that goes farther away this goes to uh we did it before so this goes here and the next one goes and then Complete all the four, and then you have to complete the triangles. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can do them in any order that you like. You can do one, two, and three, one, two, and three. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. You just try to save time. Exactly. So you find them. Exactly. Yeah. 
cuando ustedes están plegando lo que es en este momento, si ustedes se deciden hacer eso, no importa el orden en el que hagan lo que son los pliegues. Pueden completar uno, ir uno por uno o el mismo triangulito en cada uno. Depende de ustedes. La cuestión es hacer lo que es el pliegue de montaña en todos los triángulos. Ok. And now uh, we have to start and collapse. Mm -hmm. The collapse is uh, how, how do we collapse uh, tessellation? What I do is I start with a single one and I ignore all the other. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pinch all the mountains and I go all the way to the edge. Even though I cross another molecule, I don't care at this stage. All I want to see is one molecule all the way through. So I'm just pinching everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I have those mountains. I'm not going to mark them because the paper will be very ugly. Okay. But I'm going to pinch them mm -hmm. and make sure the center stay on the table. And you can see that I have I have this beginning of a molecule mm -hmm. and the two goes over the three. So the short mountain goes over the uh, long mountain, so the collapse will be. Uh, wait, I have to make sure the triangles are nice mm -hmm. and they are not. Okay, and then the collapse will be as such. Oh. I'm going to rotate. Ooh, I'm going to rotate it in this direction. Van a pinchar las esquinas, miren, y van a ir rotando uno por uno. I'm not very happy with what I have, but I'm going to open it because uh, this tessellation is collapsed in two stages. Mm -hmm. First stage, I will bring all the modules, all the molecules to this phase, only this. If I try to work on the next molecule when this one is collapsed as such, this will be very difficult to work on. Uh -huh. So I prefer to work on the next molecule while this one is still open a little bit. Oh. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to pinch all the mountains to the edges and making sure that the square, the green square is on the table and I'm going to pinch like this. Mm. So now I have two molecules getting ready to be collapsed all the way, but I'm not going to collapse them all the way just yet. Yes. I just hold them as such. Oh. Okay. You can use, if you want, you can use clips, mm -hmm. uh, like extra hands, yeah. and you can do this. Dice él que cuando ustedes vayan a colapsar lo que es el primer, la primera rosa o la primera molécula, no vayan a formarla completamente porque eso les va a impedir a ustedes el plegado de las otras, el colapsar las otras. Entonces, solamente denle la forma a que quede leve, levemente colapsada para que el papel les permita colapsar las demás. Y él dice que pueden usar extra manos, esos ganchitos que él está utilizando para sostener lo que es el papel. Somebody is asking, which papers uh, can we use? What kind of paper do you suggest for doing this? Uh, I, I have a huge stock of elephant hide simply because it's the best paper to tessellation. Mm -hmm. uh, other papers, a uh, biotop can be good. Hunt can be good, but not as good as elephant hide. Uh, all of them are second to the best. Mm -hmm. Paper. I'm sorry to say that, but uh, this is what we have. Exactly. This is... exactly, yeah. Él dice que papel siempre recomienda el elephant hide. Eh, puede recomendar el tan también, pero que el, realmente el papel que es el mejor es el elephant hide. So now I have, I have all the mountains ready. It's not not easy. It, 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 it's, it's definitely one of the toughest uh, molecules to collapse, especially if you don't make spaces between them. Mm -hmm. uh, I, had, I, I, I could have had a space in between, mm -hmm. so it's easier to collapse, but uh, we are not looking for easy. We are just, we yeah, okay. want to work. So now it's time to collapse everything. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to start with one molecule and I'm going to do this. Ahora, después de que ya ustedes tienen las cuatro moléculas eh, colapsadas, entonces se puede ya colapsar completamente la molécula. Origami, in my heart, he said that the best paper is elephant hide. Yes. That's the best paper. This one. Yeah. And you can use also tans or other paper, but the best option is elephant hide. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, so now I have, I have one molecule collapsed. I can now work on the second. Mm -hmm. So this one will rotate the other way. So it goes like this, yes. and I can combine those two together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Miren, ya va colapsando él completamente. Ya que ustedes tienen cada una de las moléculas bien marcadas, ya pueden colapsarlo completamente. Entonces ya lo está colapsando una por una. Miren. Two and three. So the rotation will be such as such. So... And I, if have quite a lot of them collapse, then the last one will be quite easy to do. Yes. Dice el que al colapsar las primeras tres, la última es super fácil de colapsar. Wow. And now it's time to rearrange the layers. Make sure every, everything sits nicely. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of problems here. I will work with, with a tool from the inside to bring it, to make it straight. So I still have to work on, on them mm -hmm. because they don't really want, want to sit correctly just yet. Yeah. But since it's elephant high, I can be strong with the, pa with the paper, firm and strong and don't worry about it because it hardly never turn apart. Mm -hmm. So I'm just playing this and I'm making sure all the lines are as exactly as I want them to be. So I just bring it out a bit. Okay. Dice el que ya cuando ustedes terminan de plegarlo y de colapsarlo, pueden utilizar una herramienta como una plegadora o algo para darle forma. Miren, él ya lo está abriendo con esa herramienta. Le está dando forma al teselado. Le está dando los últimos toques. Those are the the final touches. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to do that because uh, it doesn't really fall into place without the help of your hand. Mm -hmm. So you have, to, you have to stretch the paper, pinch it, and bring it up so all the, the, all the edges of the roses are quite nice. Mm -hmm. Here it's ugly. So I'm going to push it from the inside. And Ok. Dice él que en este momento el de él no se ve bien porque tiene que darle los toques finales en la parte de adelante y en la parte de atrás, porque tiene que hacer él que todo el papel, todos los pliegues queden bien plegaditos. Entonces, eh, ya es lo que es el shaping, ya ustedes le van a dar la forma a cada una de las moléculas. Wow, that's a beautiful tessellation. And the one that you showed that it has so many roses, how many roses did you fall there? Ah, uh, this, this one is four by four, wow. and this one is four by six. Oh my uh, this took me a lot of time. This is this was very difficult collapse, and it took like ages. Yes, miren ese que él tiene ahí dice que le tomó bastante tiempo y colapsarlo le tomó mucho tiempo. Yeah, it's, that one looks hard, really hard. Uh -huh. Wow. But, Nothing is hard. You always, if you know how to do it and you have the patience, nothing is difficult, you know. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's all you know. Everything is hard. Lo que él dijo es muy importante. Dijo, si ustedes tienen la paciencia necesaria para intentar algo, nada es imposible. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh. 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 Oh my God! <laughs> that that was amazing. That was impressive. Thank you so what much. a beautiful design! Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much for showing it, for show, sharing it with us. It's beautiful. I told you. I decided. No, I am not going to fold it because if not, I'm going to be there 
I, I know myself. I cannot. I am not in that level yet. <laughs> no, it's not that difficult. You should try. I will. What do you say? I'm gonna do it slowly, okay. and I'm gonna make the drawing, and after I'm gonna tell you, so you're gonna see. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Believe me, it's it's great. Um, Somebody. I want me. Now I want to. Ask, yeah. Go ahead. Ask, does somebody have the molecule? Did you complete the molecule? Alguien terminó la molécula y la quiere mostrar? So we're going to see if somebody completed the molecule because some people say they did. They did. So let's see. Vamos a ver si es cierto. <laughs> wow. Jimena, ¿la tienes? Vamos a ver. Okay. Who wants to share it? Sonia Silva Viera. Okay, vamos a ver. Sonia Silvia Jimena. There are two persons, one from Brazil and one from Argentina. I am going to see Sonia Silva. Let's see. Sonia Silva. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver. Sonia Silva and Jimena. There are two nice. persons over here who see who say they have it, so. I told you, it's not a Wow, alchemia. There we go. Somebody say that they have it. Okay, sorry. Eh, alchemia. Perfect. Somebody, some people say that they are shaping. <laughs> Good. Alchemia. Good. Yeah. Wow. Let's see. Okay, I'm sending the invitation. Jimena, did you receive it? Okay. Sonia Matsu. Veamos. ¿Ven la invitación? Ok, Jimena. Vamos a ver si cae. I am so, so impressed with this alquimia. is unable to join. Ok. Eh, they say they are shaping, so they are going to tag you. Ilan Garibi, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your notes. For I'm always that. happy. Yeah. That always happy for chat yeah I, I i have learned a lot from you and oh my god i am i'm very impressed and believe me you motivate me oh jimena again let's see you really motivate me to try uh tessellations good you and uh miguel miguel gañan also he motivated me you know miguel yeah but of course of course i know him Yes, but I, I, I find Miguel's a little bit um, more challenging. I think that when somebody wants to begin, I would recommend your book. Jimena, otra vez. Eh, the last question I have for you. What would be your yep. recommendation for people who want to begin desolating? And uh, they are totally, uh, they don't have any knowledge about it. They are truly beginners. So I think uh, I named my book Origami Tessellations for everyone because I really mean it, everyone. So even if you have no experience, because of the way I structured the book, you go step by step. So I don't think there is a better, I'm sorry to say, but I don't think there's a better starter book, starting book for Tessellations but mine because of the completely different way of thinking. I was aiming to teach people from the basics. And uh, there are no complicated crease patterns as a project. Just fold it and it will happen. But mm -hmm. I show you step by step how to, to get to the molecule and the two by two project. And only then the four by four. And then you can start and do whatever you want. But it's very structured and very starting from the, the very simple molecule. So I think, I think. Uh, I have no choice but to say that my book is 
is a very good starting point for the solution. I will tell you something too, something that I saw in your book that I never saw in other books. You explain the kinds of uh, tessellations. Yeah. Yeah, you explained that. And I never have seen that in any other book. Um, Master Ilan, I want to introduce you, Jimena. She is from Argentina. She's really good with tessellations. And even she was the tester of uh, Miguel Gañan's tessellations. So she was working with yours. Jimena, OK? Ya le presenté a Maestro Ilan. Qué, qué honor, qué honor estar acá. <laughs> Muchas gracias. OK, enséñale tu trabajo. Ahí vamos, ¿eh? Acá está. There it is. No. Ajá. No pude terminar el, el, el grande. grande que ahí. Pero bueno, acá está. Quedó precioso. Ahí súbelo, ahí tenlo. Ok. She says. ¿Lo ven? She folded it and she is working with the other one. Oh, oh ok. Great, great. <laughs> Muy lindo, muy simple y, y queda hermoso. Well, she says that it's beautiful and for her it's an honor here to be with you. So. Ah, thank you so much. I'm very happy about that. Thank you. <laughs> Ay, Jimena, muchas gracias, Jimena. Te quedó precioso. Gracias a ustedes. Bye, bye, Jimena. Gracias. Chao, chao. <laughs> um, I was asking about some recommendations. Le estuve preguntando sobre algunas recomendaciones para las personas que quieren comenzar. Y él dice que, primeramente, que no tengan temor. Y él recomienda que tengan mucha, mucha paciencia. Si ustedes quieren comenzar a tesalar, paciencia. Y ustedes lo van a lograr. Y como yo les digo, les recomiendo mucho el libro de él. Porque el libro de él está hecho para personas que realmente van a comenzar a tesalar como yo también. Entonces, esperamos el libro de él en diciembre. Thank you so much. You are mostly well. Like so we much. would say in Japan, you know, I lived in Japan for a long time and for me it's uh, something normal to say, do marigato gozaimasu. <laughs> Así que muchas gracias. Thank you so much, Master Ilan. We love your you. work. We love everything you do. And I know that you will continue doing such amazing things. Believe me that you are an example for everybody and we love your work. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Have a wonderful okay. evening. Bye bye. Gracias a todos. Adios. Bye bye. bye.